how to add music in Google Sites. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how easy to add a music player into your Google Sites. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you're going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over sites.google.com, sign in for your Google account, and then you're going to see the sites dashboard right there. So we are going to select one of the websites like this one, and it will open up the website itself. Now, what are we going to do is to choose one of the two options. I'm going to give you here two options. There is also more options. You're not going to be limited to the two options that you are going to give you. But here I have uh, covered for this tutorial only two. We have the choice to head over Elf site and create a widget or a free widget that will be including a audio player or a background music. For example, I'm going to put up your audio player just like that and create that widget for free. And then you're going to embed it into our uh, account or our, uh, as you can see uh, here, uh, website of Google. So we are going to choose the layout that we want. For example, this layout, this one, this player, or that one. So we can go ahead and choose. This is just like a page or this one. Then you are going to click on continue with the template. You're going to see here the tracks. Here, as you can see, I have a track that or I have from an album. So you can go ahead and edit. And then you are going to replace the track by uploading a track, putting some uh, YouTube music or a track by link like uh, Spotify and etc. And then you are going to put the titles and etc. You can also add the call to action buttons to follow up the track on different platforms. And then you can change or choose the layout like a floating or an embed just like that. Also, you can put the width or the percentage or a pixel width like this. For example, here we've had it as 600. You can go ahead and put it just like that. Here we have the players. You can show up the player controls, the play info and display, and some other, as you can see, uh, options. Here we have the style like the background image, color, and etc. Now I'm going to click on add to a website. Then we are going to install it by getting the code. So basically, here we have the published. Now we are going to head over here, close and click on install. Now we are going to get the script, copy it, head over here to our website, click on embed, click on embed by code or embed code, paste your code here. You are going to get the insert and you're going to see here the music player. So you can go ahead and make it a little bit bigger to see everything. That was the first method. Now, the second method is to use a, for example, a well-known player like Spotify to uh, share your playlist or something like this. So, for example, we are on uh, Spotify. This is the uh, desktop app. We can go ahead and select one of the, uh, let's say here, um, mixes or playlists. I'm going to click on the right side of the um, uh, playlist like this or the right button of the mouse for the playlist. We're going to head over share, click on embed playlist. Then we are going to show the code. You see that everything goes well. Click on copy. We're going to see here the, as you can see the size of the, uh, uh, if you want to modify here, the size of the, uh, uh, the embed list, copy the code, head over here, click on embed again, by code. Paste it just like this, click on insert, and boom. That was basically uh, everything for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.